Hello guys, today we are playing a Gondor vs Mordor matchup on a beautiful map, Fyrie and Deal in Battle for Middle Earth 1 on a patch 2.22. A classical matchup, just like in the films, and hopefully, just like in the films, we will make the White City proud and get the W. But keep in mind that in the films, Gondor couldn't do anything alone. Like, Gondor was the weakest faction by far. And during the fight in the Pelennor fields, in the, you know, Minas Tirith, without Rohan's help and without Aragorn, with the army of the dead, Gondor would have lost 10 times. And unfortunately for us, there is no Aragorn with the army of the dead or the Rohirrim army, you know, uh, to support us in this matchup and Mordor can potentially overrun us. But, you know, obviously we will try our best to deny that from happening. And for that reason, we need to put lots of pressure. Mordor is a time bomb. So if you cannot shut down Mordor completely in the very first few minutes into the game, Mordor will scale incredibly hard, and by with that I mean really, really hard. You will get the chance as Mordor to recruit plenty of attack trolls, mountain trolls, drummer trolls, witch king, Nazgûs, Mumai kills. Like there are so many ways Mordor could actually deal with Gondor, and there are not many ways in exchange for Gondor to actually stop Mordor in lead game, unless you build like a very strong defense with Stoneworker, with lots of trebuchet, and camp it out. That's the only way. So army against army, you know, Mordor will shut you down. Okay, so we might need to use Elvin Wood on this location just to, you know, defend this. I think he is hopefully not picking his own tainted land. He might start with the Eye of Sauron. It's a gamble situation. I'm gonna risk it and hope that he has no tainted land himself. Looks like he doesn't have it. So on the Elvin Wood, we are stronger. We have actually 35% increased damage or armor, sorry. That means we can stand and fight against those two orcs. Orcs are cheap. I mean, not cheap, they are for free. But they are also the weakest swordsman in the game by far. And they have no chance against the mighty soldiers of Gondor. Prepare for battle. Swords. Hit the enemy. Take cover, man. Oh my goodness, guys. The Age of Mythology sounds. And please let me know in the comment section down below. Do you want me to cover any of the Age of Mythology games in the, you know, in the future? I would love to. If you guys want to see that. It's also one of my most favorite RTS games. Just like the Battle for Middle-earth games. I like this a lot. And I think I have not played the campaign for a long time. So I might give it a shot. Okay, we were able to destroy one of the settlements. But remember, Mordor is still like one more. We have a great amount of map control. We have three farms in total outside. And we know that Mordor has only one single settlement left. Which is very good for us. And for that reason, you know, our goal is to destroy this one remaining settlement. ASAP. We need Gondonites on the field though. Remember, like, when you actually uh, look to build with the Gondor faction, you wanna, uh, your primary resource building are the blacksmiths. The reason is simple because they give you the steel bonus. Steel bonus means cheaper upgrade costs for the units. So basically, forge plates, heavy armor, banner, firestone on the trebuchet, fire arrows on the rangers, everything is gonna be way cheaper if you build blacksmiths. But if you don't, then you need to pay a lot of cash. Oh my goodness, it's gonna be actually a risky situation. <laughs> Hopefully, we can actually... My, can, no, I don't know. If we can creep this, that's gonna be huge. Okay, so the second Gondorite right after. On this map, you have actually plenty of creeps, goblin layers, work layers, no troll layers though. Which means one single Gondorite could actually creep the entire map. Come on! Peregrin took! Oh, Peregrin took! You full of a took. I'm not host player, by the way, in this game, but at least I was able to take one part of the treasure. But I cannot win this fight. If I would get the last hit on this spot, it would be so much better. Okay. I mean, it's not a big deal, though. We need to get three Gondonites ASAP on the field. Um, this is going to get the stable to level 2, which will give us the chance to purchase the Night Shields, which is a huge, you know, durability buff against arrows. And with them, we can actually look to rush the Mordor base down. But again... Um, <laughs> it's hard. Like, Mordor can get a couple of trolls on the field and shut down the complete existence of our Gondonites. Completely. Like, our Gondonites will be absolutely useless. And for that reason, we need the magical weapon of Gondor in this matchup. And this is, of course, Gandalf the White. And we need power points for that. Remember, we picked with the, we started with the Elven Wood. It means we need to first of all pick up the heal, then collect two power points on top of that to actually be able to unlock the uh, Ganav the White power point. Without Ganav the White spell from the Spellbook of Gondor, Ganav the Grey. <laughs> Dude, I mean, 
I don't want to be rude or something enough to pray, but you are weak. Oh, he wanted to steal the money, this Gollum. We need to build a well, though. We have actually lots of money, but... Um, the thing is, we need to invest money all the time. That's why keeping map control is essential, because the second the trolls are joining the battlefield, we won't be able to keep the, keep the map control any longer. That's not going to be possible. Okay, we have at least one power point collected. We can still creep a lot. That is like a goblin layer and a warg layer protecting each outpost. On this map, you have two outposts. And... If you don't take the outpost as Gondor, trust me on that one, Mordor will. And then it's going to be painful to try to take them down. Yes, orcs is everywhere. Remember, we can afford to lose them. It doesn't cost them any money. Let's use heal to be each, you know, to be healthy. And yeah, I don't know when the trolls are going to come. But trust me, they are potentially almost out. So, um, Boromir is a good investment into the lead game, though. Like... If you if this game goes a while, without Boromir, Gondor can't win. I mean, like, I want to be clear. Without Boromir, Gondor can't kill the trolls. That's not possible. This is the only damage leadership Gondor gets. And that's why it's essential to recruit Boromir if you know the game is going to last a while. Yes, Gandalf can kill a couple of the trolls, but the second the trolls have the darkness and the witch king, Gandalf's Easter light won't hurt them anymore. I need to get the last hit. Boromir? Nah. Oh, yeah. I think I got the last hit, yeah. Okay, we need to get him to level 4. That's the break breaking point to get the damage leadership. 60% more. The Gondor infantry. Should be able to get it. Oh, my. Uh, I didn't pay attention. <laughs> Rest in peace, my Gondor knight. The troll punched him in the face. I mean, it's been an exhausting day, though. I mean, I've played many, many games today, guys. It's unbelievable. Like, I think... The amount of games I played in the past two weeks in Battle for Middle Earth 1 are more <laughs> than in the past two years in multiplayer scene. I was playing actually lots of multiplayer and, it, you know, very soon we will have a 2v2 tournament starting in the DFME 1. Random ally tournament, it's going to be quite fun and you can watch every single game. I will cast them, stream them on my Twitch channel, Twitch TV slash Beyond Standards. You can find the link for that in the description down below and I would love to meet you also in the next live stream. Get them. We rule this day. Okay, with the music I'm motivated now. <laughs> Let's win this game. Let's creep this. Boromir. Boromir can kill the trolls, no problem. So re remember Boromir is like a passive, which means every hit has a huge potential to knock the target down. And the potential is actually almost 100% against mountain trolls. Boromir is like a very tricky but a very unique hero at the same time. So his DPS, like his damage without attacks, isn't the greatest. But as he's able to knock them down, it makes him actually to one of the best heroes against trolls in a one-on-one -on -one situation. Because regardless how strong a troll is, he has to hit you, but he can't when he's knocked down on the ground all the time. Okay, we need to start capturing outposts very soon, but I also need Gandalf. So I don't know. Uh, I think we need to rush Gandalf at this point. I, I, he want to kill my Boromir, but I don't think it's going to be possible. We can use one arrow on this troll. He's trying to disengage, but remember the trolls, when they try to run away, they cannot be fast. They're only charging when they're attacking. And it was considered to actually make them to run every single time, even when you run back. So basically always like a charge mode. But I believe this is going to make Mordor even more busted. And I tell you that much, Mordor is in a very good spot. Very, very good spot. Ah, uh, this troll is actually fast enough to get away from Faramir, though. It's so hard for me to contest the map control, as you can see in Tal Boys. I need to... Hit him. Hit him, Faramir. Show your quality. <laughs> Boromir is fighting. We need to... If we can get him to level 7, it's going to be huge. It's going to unlock the 4 Gondor ability, which I believe is going to be even more helpful to burst down those trolls. When you want to kill trolls, you want to burst them. You don't want to... Faramir... <laughs> Dude, there was a chance, by the way, this trolls could have been knocked down Farami on the ground from his horse, and then he would have been dead. But it is not this day. But you know what day it is, right? It is the day for the, for the wizards, boys. The wizards is going to arrive very soon. And hopefully with the magical weapons and with the magical special abilities from the Mifrandia, we can make something happen. Now we've unlocked the Horn of Gondor, which is kind of useless against trolls. Uh, like, fear effects against trolls are not working, because here, you know, you gotta understand that trolls are designed like a hero, right? Not even Elvin Wood or Tainted Land works on trolls. 
basically trolls won't get any leadership bonuses from the team they land but they also won't lose any bonuses when they are on your land so they are very strong creatures of middle earth especially in battle for middle earth one i mean in battle for middle earth one the trolls are eventually 100 times stronger than the trolls from pfme 2 or in the rise of the witch king by far like there is not even a contest because the fact that you can stack leadership on the trolls with darkness witch king and drummer plus eye of sauron is kind of insane Okay, we killed one of the trolls. I mean, that's good if we can kill them. But again, with six Dora horses, he has insane um, uh, save bonus. M means that he almost pays nothing for the trolls. Like, less than 900 he needs to pay for them, you know? So Mordor should not have a hard time to recruit multiple trolls additionally every single time. So he's camping it out, and that's what he's supposed to do. I know it sounds boring, but sometimes... That's what you need to do, because what are you supposed to do when I have a Gandalf on the field? Like, the second you move outside unprotected, I will fish your trolls one by one. Keep destroying stuff. I mean, we can only destroy the outside stuff. We cannot go inside the base yet. We need a bit more time. I'm also pretty tempted to actually build the market, please. Because Marketplace is actually very beneficial if you have a great map control. Like, the more map control you have, the more benefit you will gain from the Marketplace. From the Grand Harvest. But also, we need to get outpost control, you know. <laughs> we need to get rangers, we need to get... I don't know. The problem is... I mean, the good thing is we have money for it. But the problem is, we give this way more time to Mordor. I mean, we can win this if we get somehow the Eagle Special Summon Unlock from the Spearbook of Gondor. Uh, that's, you know, that's the only way we can actually uh, successfully kill those trolls by having a great burst damage. Like again, bursting is the only way. Prepare yourselves! Swords! Have the new farm! Be alert! Gondor must stand! Prepare for battle! The enemy has grown stronger! Men of Gondor! Okay, now we gotta make something happen. Hopefully, I don't know, um, we will maybe beat them out with Farami and Boromir. The problem is, Farami and Boromir, they will just kill them, you know? They won't hurt them anymore. But again, Boromir's passive is very important. To keep knocking them down on the ground. Um, we are trying to make something happen with Gandalf, but... Even Gandalf has to be careful about such a, about such a situation. As long as we can kill some towers, I'm fine. Oh, he has Witch King coming on the field. I see you, Witch King. Now we got a Micro Boys. We have no Elven summon nothing. I couldn't catch the Witch King, but I could catch one of the trolls. That's very good. Okay, one of the trolls has been almost killed. Kill him, finish him, Faramir. Please show your quality, Faramir. Nice, Faramir. Now, Boromir, it's your turn. Boromir, you gotta knock them down on the ground all the time. We need a ranger special summon. You see? You see, boys? Half of his HP is gone, and he has not even darkness yet. With dark... Oh my goodness, he's slapping Faramir. You gotta kill this drummer troll. Drummer troll is very vulnerable against uh, horse damage from Gandalf and from the Gondor Knights. And Boromir, you gotta keep knocking him down. Don't let him hit your brother. Okay, so we killed... Somehow, the trolls, that's very good. Um, but Witch King will get away. I wish I would have not used the Easter Lights. This troll is still not dead, by the way. But we gotta disengage now. We gotta disengage now. Those are very close fights. Uh, what? Okay, Faramir did a good job. Okay, the good thing is, we have now Faramir leadership, Boromir leadership, and Gandalf leadership. That's very good. But yes, Witch King, and we have no other army to commit. Normally, after such a fight, you need to be the one who is committing for a fight. But I, I've only gone on it. So my archer army isn't ready yet. I'm going to also build this marketplace, just in case this game might last a while. So I can get more money over time, which is always nice to have additional resources. Okay, we have great amount of map control, but here's the top side. And the problem is, I'm not in a situation anymore in which I just can go with my Gondonites and hope for the best. Like... Yes, uh, you know, Nazgul, I mean the Witch King. I'm gonna build a tower here, you know, just to deal with this annoying orcs. We have almost three power points in the bank. But we need more, we need more. That's the problem, we need more, we need more. We need to get three power points first for the Ranger Special Summon and then six power points on top of that for the Eagle Summon. With the Eagle Summon, I'm pretty confident we can win those big fights and then I can force it. But in a situation like this, I'm very afraid to actually force a fight. Okay, let's get all the outposts. Let's get all map control we can get. 
Let's get this way you get more money, and we know we make sure that the mortal players getting less money. We must stay together. Yes, we are investing so much money into the outpost control, into the statue well, and more and more farms and marketplace upgrades. We are actually always broke. <laughs> we, like, even though we have so much map control, it feels like we are kind of poor in this game. Hint boys, we will need lots of rangers. Trust me, that one. Like, we need an armada of rangers. And ideally, we, we want to split them, but again, a part of me says we need to split them. The other part is saying, no, don't split them. You need to stay together and stay grouped so you can get benefit from the leadership bonuses. But staying clumped against troll army is also very, very risky. Like, we don't have the DPS yet to burst down the Witch King too. Like, Gandalf's Easter Light is chunking him, very true, but it's not enough. Like, we, in order to kill the Witch King with Gandalf, you need to hit both the Lightning Sword exclusively and then on top of that the Easter Light. The Easter Light is easy to be hit. Oh, Faramir, don't show your quality too much. Get out, get out there. That's what I like about Faramir. Even in risky situations, he's able to run away for his life. Oh, I hate to play against Mordor, guys. I'm telling you, I hate to play against Mordor. Because at some point of the game, you are like in a, in a handicapped situation. Even though we had like a phenomenal opening, right? We destroyed one of his mills, get only one mill. We creeped a lot. We have Faramir level 5, Boromir level 5. In every other matchup, in this current standing, this game would be over. Isengard wouldn't stand a chance against Gondor at this point with this much leadership, with this much utility and, you know, map control. Rohan doesn't stand a chance anyway. Uh, but Mordor is different, dude. Mordor is so unique from all the three factions, other three factions. Mordor is the one faction I hate to play against the most. I know many people are underestimating Mordor. They are saying, hey, but Mordor is so big. No, trust me. Like, if you know what you are doing, Mordor has the capability and the ability to smash all the other factions. And this without any map control. With just camping, with industry from your spellbook, you can use over and over again. You can spam orcs, you get power points from losing orcs. You have Witch King and Nazgul, if you don't pay attention for a few seconds and you, and you lose them, you can revive them for free. Like, the only money you need is to keep recruiting trolls, and for that, you will always have enough money with six lot of houses. And Mo look, we have so much map control, but we are still so poor. Okay, let's go for an attack now, even though I'm very, very, very afraid. I want to actually go for an Easter life with Gandalf. Um, so, if I can hit them when they are clumped, it's pretty, pretty good. Okay, we need to... Oh, the up, 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 mission, up, mission. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. I, stand as your I hate Mordor. I hate them so much from the bottom of my heart. It's so unplayable against Mordor. Like, what are you, what am I supposed to do, guys? Like, look how many trolls he has. I'm getting literally trolled right now. When I play Mordor, I play more creative and more entertaining. But this guy is just going for the 101. Like, how to smash with Mordor. Look, my father. What am I supposed to do? It's unplayable. It's unplayable. Now I invested all the money for uh, stuff. That I should have gone for the stonework. Uh, sometimes I'm kind of regretting that I don't. I don't want to limb. I don't want to limb, guys. You know, I want to win uh, without having to build limb stuff like stone worker. You know, laser towers, make trebuchet and then hit them down and put arches on top of the hole, go into a camp situation. I don't want to win like this, but I should have done it because now I'm, I'm out of the game. What, what am I supposed to do now? Like, these trolls, you see them? They are smashing my tower in a second. Like, <laughs> like, the one unit to siege with, to smash heroes, to smash infantry, to smash cavalry, the only thing they can smash are eagles. But we are five power points in a quarter away. Dude, I'm so tilted, dude. Oh, I hate this so much. My Gandalf, dude. Why didn't he move? Now look at this. What is this? Okay, okay. Can win, can win, can win, guys. We need to never give up. We must never surrender. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> there is always hope, I guess. As Aragorn would like to say. And I need Aragorn now with the Offbreakers to come. You know, Mordor is going to be like, the rune reinforcements has arrived. And then it will be jump, you know, Legolas, Gimli and Aragorn jumping out of the boat with the Offbreakers. 
You wanna defeat me? You and who, which army? This army. I will defend my people. Yeah, in lead game, in super super lead game, when we have the Balor, when we have the EOD summon, when we have the Eagle summon, it's gonna be of course better. But I don't think um, this mortal will give us the time to get to this point. We need Gandalf back. <laughs> we need, I don't know, we need a lot of rangers. But again, the problem is the damage leadership. And that's why Gondor needs more damage leadership. Which makes the Gondor faction more playable without camping. Like Isengard. Think about Isengard. You have Warchan plus Lords. So you have 110% damage if you want to. Right? And think about Rohan. You have... Theodin, Elmark, Aragorn, every one of these heroes giving additional damage leadership, which means more DPS. And more DPS is more important than tankiness against trolls. Because regardless how much armor leadership you have, the trolls, if they get a chance to hit you one time, they will kill you. They don't care about your leadership bonuses, trust me. Oh my goodness, dude. Oh my goodness, dude. I'm trying to split them too, but there are... Look, you see how many trolls are... I'm getting literally run down, guys. I mean, he's running me down. Like, not even kidding. He's running me down. I have no money. Where's my money gone? I, I, get, get up. Close the gate and hope for the best. <laughs> dude, uh, Gondonites are unplayable now at this point. Like... I don't know, man. I should have gone for the Stormworker. Screw the marketplace. Who needed the marketplace? I had enough map control and enough money for the for the Stormworker. Like, with the laser towers now, those trolls would have been dead. But now, as they have no laser, laser those towers, they don't hurt them anymore, guys. I'm telling you, leadership bonuses... Everybody's like, Mordor doesn't even have heavy armor, but Mordor doesn't need heavy armor. Mordor doesn't need that. Look... He can keep chasing me with many, many of these trolls. And then the other trolls are finishing off my beast. Okay. Oh man, I hate Mordor so much! Look, uh, he's... My, I can't play with Gandalf, I can't stand. The second I want to stand and use my Easter light, I will get smashed. Like, these are hulks, dude. Hulks, literally hulks. We must stay together. Like, you remember the scene when Loki was like, stop, you know, I'm a god, you know, and then Hulk was smashing him like, bam, 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 you know, fury god, you know what I'm saying, like, exactly, it's what happens to Gandalf, he's basically like a, like an angel, but trolls, they don't care, look, they don't care, boys, oh my, they break almost my shield in a second, okay, I mean, <sighs> frustrating, disappointing, and on top of that, also very tilting gaming experience for your boy Shanks tonight. Yeah, like they can ignore me and that's what I'm talking about. Gandalf, Gandalf can't be strong enough to deal with such a power. What can men do against such a reckless seed? Or as Saruman would like to say, against the power of Mordor, there can be no victory. I think GG boys. Nah, there is nothing I can do. I can call the uh, call the ranges, but it's gonna delay. Not gonna deny. Look how many trolls are coming, dude. Who let the trolls out? You know what I'm saying? My my poor captains of Gondor, Faramir and Boromir, they wouldn't stand a chance. Yeah, GG well played. I'm tilted. That's it. I'm out, guys. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed my suffering, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe for more like this in the future. I will see you next time. Until then, take care. Keep hitting like a truck and as always, <laughs> stay beyond standards. Peace out.